we all have watched the trailer for the movie Tenet and now we all know that it's not about time travel but it is about time reversal just like these videos but these videos are playing in reverse because such processes don't happen in nature now can time flow backward for that we need to understand entropy so let's begin these are the two formulas for entropy that fits within an inch but these tiny formulae is a result of entire lifetime work of scientists like Carnot, Clausius and Boltzmann, just to name a few. So, Carnot laid the foundation of thermodynamics, Clausius extended his work and gave the first formula, Boltzmann defined entropy on molecular level and then developed a deeper understanding of entropy. In this video, we will understand entropy with this microscopic approach. Here, we have two reservoirs, A and B. Water on microscopic level is made up of molecules. We will observe them later but first let us take a look at dice. When we roll a dice, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So a dice can be in 6 states. Let us call this number of state for the dice W1. Now let's get back to our water tank. Consider corner molecule in reservoir A. It can be anywhere in the container. It can be at the center or any other corner. Just like the dice, it can be in several different states and since it is on microscopic level, we call it microstate. Similarly, all the other molecules have certain number of microstates in which they can be. Let's say the total number of microstates in A is WA and B is WB. Now, let's get back to our dice. If we have a pair of dice, then the number of states in this combination increases drastically to 36. Note that the number of states is now product of two single dice. Similarly, if we consider combination of both the reservoir as one system, then the number of microstates of our system will be WA into WB. Boltzmann observed that entropy is related to the number of microstates and he gave the formula entropy is equal to k times log of W where k is Boltzmann's constant and W is the number of microstates. So, entropy of our system is K times WA into WB. Now, if we connect both the reservoirs, the water level of A falls and B rises till they reach an equilibrium state. Since the molecules from A went to B, the number of microstates in A decreased and B increased. Now, what about the overall microstate of system? Here's a table considering arbitrary numbers. Of course, this is for the sake of understanding and microstates is a PhD level subject and it is not this simple. Notice that the number of microstates goes on increasing when the system moves towards equilibrium and it becomes maximum at equilibrium state. Since entropy is directly proportional to the number of microstates, entropy increases as system moves towards equilibrium and it becomes maximum at equilibrium state. If we take a look at nature, all the processes are going towards equilibrium from beautiful waterfalls to devastating global warming. Even the sun is continuously radiating heat. So the universe is always moving towards an equilibrium state. Hence, the entropy of the universe is always increasing, which is the second law of thermodynamics. The state of equilibrium is one in which Energy is evenly distributed, so entropy tells how evenly the energy is distributed. To strengthen our understanding, let us consider one quick example of ice cube. Ice melts at room temperature since it tries to achieve equilibrium with the room and in this process entropy is increased. At molecular level, ice molecules are very compact and cannot move freely. But water molecules on the other hand are free to move. So this ice cube went from an extremely orderly state to a disorderly state and in this process the entropy has increased. So we can also say that the entropy is measure of disorder. Now the question is what is the relationship between time and entropy and how can we use entropy to manipulate time? Well. Time is always moving forward. Also, now we know that entropy of the universe is always increasing. If the entropy of the universe at this very moment is 100, then by the end of this video, it will be more than that. 
Entropy of the future is always greater than the entropy of past. Entropy is thus a distinction between the past and future. So, if somehow the entropy of the universe decreases, time will start flowing backward. So, this is the relationship between entropy and time reversal. Now, the question is, how is this possible? Well, as per current laws, it is impossible to decrease the entropy of the universe. Thus, it is impossible to reverse time. But there is an hypothetical thought experiment known as Maxwell's demon, which can reduce entropy. In this experiment, there are two chambers, A and B, separated by a wall with a door. They are filled with gas. Temperature of A is greater than temperature of B. We have a demon watching this chamber who knows state of each and every molecule of this chamber at every moment. The atoms in the gas are always moving randomly. The temperature is due to kinetic energy of atom. Higher the kinetic energy, higher the temperature. However, container with high temperature gas always has some low energy atoms. The demon is aware of this and when such atom is about to hit the door, demon opens the door and the atom moves to the other side. He repeats this on both the side and after some time, we have all high energy atoms on one side and all low energy atoms on other side. Notice that the temperature of high temperature reservoir has increased and low temperature reservoir has decreased, which is similar to water freezing on heating. And if we calculate the entropy of this process, we will find that there is a decrease in entropy of the universe and thus now time can flow backward. In the second trailer of Tenet, there is reference to opening of different door. Also, there is Maxwell's demon set up in the background. Did the villain sign a deal with Maxwell's demon? What are his intentions and how to stop him? For this, we will have to watch the movie. I am excited for the movie. Are you? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you made it till here, do subscribe to my channel and let me know what else would you like to watch. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you next time.